Hello and welcome back to my channel. On today's episode of Organize My Life, we are gonna talk about clutter and how we can declutter our spaces. The most offensive room when it comes to clutter in my home is my craft room and office. Now, if you don't have a craft room or office and think that this video won't help you, I want you to still stick around because the tips that I use for decluttering this room is helpful no matter what space you are tackling. So my craft space and office isn't actually in a room in our home. It is in the dining space and we chose that because I don't like to be cooped up in a room when I'm doing stuff or else I'll never do stuff. It worked for us but the issue is is that it is open to the whole apartment. Ignore all that mess. So having this space be functional, organized, and free of clutter is really important because you can easily see this space as soon as you walk in the door. So the first thing I do when tackling clutter in any space is to remove the items that don't belong in that space or in that room. So the second step in decluttering any space is to categorize your items. By getting your items into categories, you are able to clearly inventory everything that you have. Once things are in categories and you can see all of the items that you have in that specific category, purging items becomes a lot easier. All right, so here it is. Here is the separated categories. Um, I'm gonna break them down for you real quick. Here are my tools. This is like storage, bins, things like that. I've got paper here. I've got kits here. This is projects I'm working on or like memorabilia things. These are kind of like planner accessories. This is a box of greeting cards that I need to go through. Up here I have notebooks. Here's some post-it notes, a lot of post-it notes. I've got some small categories at the top here like pictures I've printed for scrapbooking. This is like embellishments. Up here is stuff that I'm pretty sure I already that I'm gonna get rid of. And then I've got some other scrapbooking stuff up here. I've got like markers and pens, my stamping things. This cart is already pretty organized in categories. Um, I'm gonna be going through that because this cart is no longer going to be part of my system when I get everything reorganized here. Um, this is some like ephemera things and some tools. And then I've got old planners and bullet journals. This category is a problem. I've tried a lot of different planners so this category is a real problem. This is some blank planners that I never even touched. Uh, these are all traveler's notebooks. Some of them I've made, some of them I purchased, and I will be using those most likely. This is planner covers, things like that. This is a, um, actually this right here is kind of like scrapbooks. So, um, this is something I got at the Ren Fair that I kind of want to turn into a scrapbook, but I'm not sure what yet. This is a large book that I've had for a really long time that I want to do a family album with. Now that I have all of my categories, it's time for me to go through everything and do my purge. So that brings us to our third step in the decluttering process, the purging. Now, when you are going through the purge step of the process, I want you to be as ruthless as possible. My biggest tip for purging items is to take a look at each item that you own. And if it's not something that you would buy in a store today, then it's probably something that you don't need right now. We all go through stages of life where our styles are different, we're into different things, and if those hobbies and those styles aren't a part of your life anymore, and the items that belong with those stages don't belong either. Another tip that I have for purging is to separate collections. So for me, organizing my craft space, I have paper pads. So I'm going through each paper pad and I'm gonna pull out the patterns that I truly love and the rest of the patterns are gonna go into a donate pile.
So it is a new day. I am in the same sweater because I live in this thing since I thrifted it, but we are going to tackle the drawers now. So the good thing about the drawers is that they're already categorized. So all I have to do is go through and purge items. There are a lot of drawers and there's a lot of stuff that I'm gonna be getting rid of, I think, but that is the next step in the purging process. So step four of the decluttering process is to box up the items that you're gonna donate and take pictures of the items that you are going to sell. This is really important to do this right away because then they don't sit around your home and you know you get nostalgic for them and you go into them and bring them out and they clutter up your space again. So if it's something that you have decided to part with, make a plan to remove those items from your space as soon as possible. So step five, the final step in decluttering your space is actually to reorganize everything. Create new systems so you can reduce the clutter in the future. Are you going to create a system where you never have clutter again? No, because we live in our spaces. We make messes. We take things out. We use our stuff. Clutter is going to happen. But if you have a system in place that is functional, and easy to maintain, then decluttering your spaces in the future is a lot quicker because everything has a place and you have eliminated the items that you no longer need. All right, I've got a bonus step for you guys in decluttering your space. Create a bin or drawer that you can put items in as you're using the space. During your purge process, I hope you got rid of everything you knew you didn't need. But as you use the space, you're going to come across things as you go that you didn't realize that you don't need anymore. So create an area for those pieces. And once that fills up, go through it and get rid of those items. All right, guys, that is it for this video. We have went through all of the steps of decluttering and we are ready to put this space back together. Here's a little sneak peek of our tabletops. My parents just dropped them off. I'm so excited to put everything back together. Once I get all the furniture moved around and the tabletops put on, then I will go back to the fifth step of the process to reorganize because I had to wait until everything was in its final place to reorganize, obviously. So that's why that part for me wasn't in this video. So I'm gonna jump right into finishing this space up today. And I hope you all come back next week because next week I'm going to be revealing the final space, reorganized, redesigned, and I will be giving a tour of how I put everything together to use this space. There's also gonna be a really cool Ikea hack in that video, so subscribe down below if you don't want to miss it. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.